you're Jimmy Gang, Jimmy Gang, the Army, the Navy. Welcome back, man. Listen, it's your God, Jim and I, by law, and we back talking about Adam, man. We reacting to another clip of Adam speaking about the aftermath and what else he's willing to do for money to his female. Like, basically, Adam is just, I don't know, man. You, if you were surprised by him letting the black dude, Jason Love, run up in his wife's guts, bro, you're not going to, you're going to not, probably not be surprised by this next one. So let's get right into it. We ain't going to waste too much time. I want to react. And I'm going to try not to yell as much as I did in the first video, because I watched that back myself, and I was yelling like a motherfucker. I don't know how y'all watched that. No cap. Let's get right into this joint, man. So this is like my kind of like roller coaster of emotions. So before she did it, I felt okay with it. I was like, this is a business decision. This makes sense. Let's do it. Then she did it. I felt a little bit of like jealousy, a little bit of like, oh man, like, you know, oh, I gotta, I gotta fuck the shit out of my girl. I gotta make up for it. But then like within like two days, like after I talked about it on. He said, I gotta fuck the shit out of my girl. I gotta make up for it. Like, what are you talking about? You making up for the porno scene that she did? So it does hurt you. So you do feel like a little bit like demasculated like you do feel a little jealousy by homie rearranging your shorty guts you do by the way you just said i gotta make up for it i gotta go extra hard like nigga what are you talking about like if you like it then you'd be like oh that's great babe like so you a cuck but you're an emotional cuck i i felt fine about the fact that it happened although it was kind of overwhelming having like 10 million people calling me a cuck in on twitter and stuff yeah, which yeah. i don't find that to be the most i was for sure one of them 10 million they could call that nigga a cuck because he's a cock offensive thing like a lot of people they call you a cuck like they're calling you a fucking you know a, a rapist or, a, or a whatever like it's like like that's the insult right there yeah and they nah, nothing is as bad as that nigga don't try to admit no we there's cuck and then there's that other shit that other shit nigga we don't even nigga, your life is your life need to be x'd out to elaborate on it all, when I know a ton of people who either let their girl do shit on camera or they swing. So basically they'll go to swinger parties or they'll just yeah. like a couple will go out with another couple and then they trade at a certain point. And yeah. I He's like, I know a lot of people. Anybody, yo, watch out for the people that rationalize everything they do about what everybody else do. Like, watch out for those people, bro. <coughs> <coughs> the devil is near. The devil is lurking, my nigga. Them people that be like, well, everybody else did it, so I'm starting to, nigga, that's not normal, nigga, this your wife. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but that's how we, like, came upon this idea, is at a certain point, I was like, you know, she kind of asked me, like, would you ever do that? Like, would you ever do There's something? Some, like a swinger party or something like Probably that. Probably not even a swinger party, to be real, because those people aren't tested. So she did offer it to him. She asked him. Like, hey, so would you ever, like, consider, like, us just trading off? Like, I can fuck that guy? I can fuck that guy and, and you can fuck his girl? Are you okay with that, Adam? Like, she knew he was a cuck from the jump. She knew. Her in the yeah, business, so we yeah, got to be yeah, tested. Yeah. But, like, the conversation, we, we did an interview with another couple, and it was kind of like, oh, would we ever do that? Would we ever do a thing where he fucks you and I fuck the girl and we're, like, side by side? Either off, we talked about doing it off camera and we talked about doing it on camera, right? What? So y'all about to do this shit for fun? You about to just throw your wife to another man cock for fun. You try to act like it was all about money. No, nigga, you into this cuck shit. The more and more he talked, the more we understand it. We had that conversation, but then it kind of became like, well, if we're going to like open our relationship up to the point where it's not the end of the world for her to sleep with another guy, we might as well roll it out in the way that's going to be the most viral, and that's yeah. what is currently going on. I just on. found out what a cuck was this weekend. <laughs> Yo. I had to look up the definition because it was everywhere. Like, every time I looked up... Yo, watch my nigga Desto dub face. Watch my nigga Desto this dub face, bro. Desto dub face is all of us watching, my nigga. This is how we feel. Just watch his face, bro, throughout this whole conversation. It was like people cuck, hate cuck. cucks like they're fucking serial killers, but it's bro, like, or what Nazis. The fuck? Like, okay, you let your wife get brick. Uh, like, what if that was a way of letting her get her lick back because you got caught cheating so many times? No. Like, you know what? Go get your rocks off. And she did get a lot of quite a few times back in the day, which I'm not thinking of this as reparations for that, but mm. that is a plausible yeah, explanation. Yeah, you like, like, get your hilarious. <laughs> what, what, what future say? Go on, fuck the nigga, get it over with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but you know what? Shit. It's the fact that we're married. It's the fact that we just got married because, yo, the video on my Twitter of me and her getting married, I think it might have had like a million or two views on Twitter. Yeah. It now has 60 million views. 
Oh, shit. So, like, that, this made the wedding so much more interesting to people? That's crazy. No, it didn't. We not... People, we just can't believe that you literally just married this girl. We not interested. Nigga, what... Like, how do he make this... Thing, like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga brain? These are people are so more interested in our marriage. No, nigga, they're interested in your wife getting fucked a week after you got married to her. That shit is crazy to people. I, I mean, I just, I couldn't believe it. I was really taken aback by all that. That's crazy. So, what I would, um, <coughs> what I wanted to ask you <coughs> out of the situation. So, you said that you had the right to cancel it if you didn't like the feeling of the shit, right? She told me up till the day before it, she said, if you feel uncomfortable with no, it, no, 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 not have even to do cancel. It. You said that you was gonna let her do it once, and then if you, you have the call, if you don't want her f no more dudes, so. What you gonna do? Is this gonna happen again? I'm undecided. We're still having that conversation because it's kind of weird because that means it's gonna happen again. Any other scenes that she ever does with another dude, it's just gonna be like way less hype. It'll probably yeah. be normal. At some point in the near future, it's yeah. gonna be normal, right? Yeah. Now, the one thing that I definitely am gonna do at some point is fuck her with another guy on That's what talk. I was, that was my. Bro, I would swear this nigga is not talking about his wife. The one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fuck her with another guy on Plug Talk. Like, so you gonna run a train on your wife? Bro, you gonna run a train on your wife? My nigga. Bro, this nigga Adam, bro. This shit is wild, bro. <coughs> this is what, this is literally like <coughs> what you're selling your soul for money look like. Money, money, money. I'm a fuck on our shit with another nigga. I'm a fuck my the I'm a fuck my daughter's mother with another nigga on camera for y'all to watch so we can eat up this bread. This nigga different. Next question. That definitely yeah, is gonna you happen. Just at a certain point. My next question, because like, what you do the train thing? I'm I, I, not a train. We we just gonna like you know That's double team her probably. Like she's down, but it's also. It's also kind of a question of like, because this is the thing important is that it's always like you do one thing and then you do the next thing, you do the next thing. And so Look at that's not face. one in the mouth, one down south. No. One in the pussy, one in the mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm about no, to say. No, but not not one in Hell the ass, no. one in the pussy. I'm not trying to have my, ball, yeah, my balls I, clapping that's, against it. That's, that's borderline. Somebody right just take me uh, so Not because he don't want to DP his wife. He would DP his wife. He's just saying he don't want his balls that close to another nigga balls. Like, but you down with it. Anything, you'll do anything to your wife for this money. Bruh, just say I got married for the money, nigga. It was you in the Lena video. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, you're grimy. Um, <laughs> you're uh, grimy. But, uh, like, I don't know. Like, definitely not trying to, like, do the... the I, I'm not doing DP. I'm not going to let my dick rub against another guy's dick inside for her sure. vagina. Yeah. That, to me, is something I couldn't do. And then, like, the vagina and the asshole at the same time, I don't really think that we need to do that. That's but good. definitely... You have to be humping him to do that. Oh, yeah. And the dudes who do it in the porn game, whenever I talk to them about it, they're all kind of like, yeah, I do it, but... I don't like it. <laughs> they, all kind of yeah. like, they don't like really want to talk about it. It's yeah, kind of weird. Like, <laughs> like it, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I mean, because it's only a little piece of skin right there. Like I know yeah. that you can feel the pressure. Bro, That's pause, bro, like, bro. This whole this whole conversation is paused past that. Damn, why they gotta keep getting? Why they gotta keep elaborating on this subject right here, bro? Come on, we don't need even need to go that far. That's crazy. And if it's going to feel way better <laughs> well, we because of his shit dick. back in the day, game. Bro. Just imagine a nigga trying to get up in that ass. Like Rick, think about it. Think about out, it. Bro. If there's a dick in the vagina and then you're f***ing the ass, that dick being in the vagina is going to make yeah. the ass way tighter because the whole section yeah, is filled up. It's so it's like you're going to be feeling the motherfucker's dick veins For in sure. there. To me, that's a little too gay. I don't that's, think I got to do that. That's crazy. Especially if you come. Yo, oh, you bro, I'm come. done. Yo. I'm done so with these if things, bro. So if you lose on each... bro, listen, man. We came to the end of the video. These niggas took the video in a whole weird direction that I'm probably going to chop out. I'm probably not even going to leave some of that shit. And these niggas start talking about some wild stuff. But y'all got the gist of it, man. Adam is down to run a train on his wife, the mother of his daughter. He's willing to run a train on her for plug talk, man, to get this bag, man. What y'all think about that? Let me know in the comments, man. I want to know what y'all think. Jimmy Gang, I'm gone. I'll see y'all in the next one, man.
this nigga Adam is wild, bro. If this ain't what selling your soul look like, I don't know. But then again, my nigga, he he he, he don't believe in God. I believe I, I don't know. I think he was atheist and shit. He don't believe in God or whatever. So maybe this is just a part of that. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Adam, I would love to interview you. You know what I'm saying? I probably never will, but maybe I will. Shit, let me never say never. Jimmy Gang, I'm gone. I'll see y'all in the next one, man.